Now our final and final class that we can create is our shader manager. And with that, we're almost done. Okay, new item. I might as well. Well, that will create it for me. Header, shader manager. And as a header file, make sure it's a header file. I don't mess up on anything. I'm gonna move this down here because that's a CPP file. Now, I'm gonna pass in the number if and def for shader manager h number define shader manager h number and and if you want to include your shader let me include the class shader manager Create our destructors and constructors. We can have an enum and the type of shaders that we can have in here. So we can have like um like a what can I say? This will tell if you have a different type of shaders. Like you have a shader that will just set texture. You have another shader that is just a normal shader, and all that kind of stuff. You know. So I don't know. This guy. This can be a name depending on how you guys want to have it. Um. Usually for the first one, I'm probably just gonna create a texture one. And the count will be the one that I'll use in, in the array to initiate with that count it knows how many are um, um how big the shader um array should be. You will see in the future you'll I'll let you know once we get there. So we kind of function initialize. We probably don't have to have a texture. It's Create another for default. Default used to be a regular one that does not contain the texture. Yes, yes, gonna color it to a certain color. I'm well, probably gonna call it a color. Call it color then. That'll be much better. And everything here is gonna be static. So, letting you know that right now. You can have a sh be able to get the shader. We can pass in a shader type to know which one, which shader we want to return. And private static shader or pointer pointer of M shaders. So with this, since this is an array that we can create, uh, an array of the array of pointers, with the count, this will tell you how many elements are in here. So it starts at zero. The first, and when it comes to enums, the first one is at zero. Then it's one. And then it's two. So with count, we can use that to initialize how big the array is going to be. And there's two. So yeah. So that's why I wanted to say that earlier. So with that, you want to go to your CPP file now. You want to include the shader manager. The H. You can the shader. Pointer pointer shader manager and shaders equals null shader manager shader manager for our constructor and a destructor. And we're gonna 
loop through this entire array equals And you're gonna delete the M shaders of I and then delete. So you make sure you do this. And now we come to our initialize. Equals new shader pointer of count Oh, because it's not shader, shader manager And then we get going to be M shader The thing is, well, we know I will do it for now Oh wait. For a file name, we're pretty sure we're gonna call it color dot cell. We don't have it yet, so it may break on me break on us on earlier. You know what? Put a color underscore vs to tell to let us know that that's the vertex shader and underscore ps for a picture shader. Yeah, for now we're just gonna create that. We're not gonna create the other one just yet. Well, at least just initialize it for now. What was the texture? So at least just initialize it for now, just like that for now. And now we can create our other function. Get shader, shader type. P type. Yeah, I didn't see it there. I was like, what the heck going on here? I thought I messed up a lower again. And you want to return the M shader for, for P type. And that's how we initialize my shader manager. Now it just comes to the to the point where I should be I should initialize it. I gotta figure out where we should initialize it. Okay, so I would say it's better off to initialize in in, in the engine. So inside here, we go to engine and you go to a set of file. We can include the shader manager. Make sure you do that. Make sure you call it null. Um, make sure call it, do the create an object right now, manager, and you initialize it. And make sure you delete it afterwards. So that should be about it for that. Uh, I'm trying to think right now. Give me a second. So yeah, basically that's it for our shader. Let me see. Let me debug it. I mean, uh, compile it. So what we should do next?